What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Trading Wars. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you guys are having a wonderful weekend, a wonderful Sunday. We're back yet again for another recap on SPY for all of our trades this week. So I'm going to be breaking it all down for you step by step, all the setup strategies, the points, everything, and giving you guys the education you deserve. All right, my friends? So if you're ready, let's step into the war zone. So first and foremost, who do we have in the building? Let's do some shout outs and get right into it. Long new trading wars army member welcome long to the trading wars army let's hit him with the tw army spy vip hell shock what's going on todd trading wars army dr d ramon cadell gus cisco stk j villa n7 lead farmer what's going on trading wars army dan a hey, wheezy good to see you guys all right so the first thing that i want to talk about today is that um the markets have been very volatile there's been a lot of uncertainty and there's been a lot of fear um, in the market. And I've noticed that with a lot of people. And I, I want to say that personally and with the SPY VIP, we've had one of our best weeks in a long time. And the reason is because with uncertainty and volatility on the bigger picture, what that does is it opens up day trading opportunities um, because the volatility gives you a big range intraday to make money. So the average range of, of a day is going to be a lot bigger when the market is uncertain and when the market is more volatile. So I'm going to do my best to make best use of these opportunities and make as much money as possible during these windows because they don't happen all the time. So I think um, if we were to refocus and think about it in a positive way, there are lots of opportunities as a day trader. Come in with cash every single day and try to double your money, triple your money and reset for the next day without having that overnight exposure. And whether it's long or short, we'll adapt to the price action and we'll play the setups accordingly. We'll use the fibs to guide us throughout that. All right. So hit me with a 10 if that makes sense. You know, so the main thing I just want you guys to take away is uncertainty and volatility on the bigger picture is a day trader's dream. And we should be looking forward to these guys because there's some days when the markets don't move, when they're very choppy, when they're 10 points a, a day, and it's extremely difficult to make good money. But when we have days like, you know, Fridays and Thursdays that we've had in the last few days, we have to take advantage of that. So I want to show you how I did it. I want to give you the tools and I want to help you succeed. All right, guys. So let's start off with Friday. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit the replay right here. And the first thing you want to do every day is make sure you draw the previous day's high and low. So here's the previous day's low, and here is the previous day's high. And if you were only day trading for one day out of the week, I would say definitely day trade Friday. Friday is one of the most volatile days in the markets. And the reason is because uh, buyers and sellers need to make decisions if they're going to hold over the weekend, which is always a big risk, also a big reward. So the first three minute candle comes in right here and you can see here is um, the previous day's low. So this is Thursday's low. And what I want you guys to really focus on here is notice that there was a good bit of buying going into the close on Thursday and there was some selling in the last 20 minutes. OK, so are we gapping down or are we gapping up? based on this first three minute candle. Hit me with a one if it's a gap up and hit me with a two if it's a gap down. Okay, so what I'm gonna try to do is I wanna make this really um, informative, intuitive, and I wanna make it a lot of participation because I really, really want to get the points. I wanna drive the points home today, okay? So we are gapping down, all right? And we're gapping down and we could see there was a lot of buying on Thursday. And how do you think the bulls are feeling right now? Well, the bulls that bought on Thursday are in a lot of trouble because we're gapping way below their potential stop loss. You could see this is a major gap down. So what I like to do whenever we have significant gaps is I like to use the opening range breakout, a.k.a. the orb. And I always start off with the three minute chart. Personally, for me, because the three minute, the candles are small enough for me to enter and exit with small risk. OK, so I'm going to go ahead here and I'm just going to show you. So once you have that first three minute candle closed, what you do is you go ahead and you mark the high of the candle and then you mark the low of the candle like this. And if it breaks the low, we're going to go short. If it breaks the high, we're going to go long. So this is a neutral pattern. We don't have a bias. We could have a bias like what I was telling you about the trap bulls. You could you could do that. But if you're just strictly trading the orb you just take the breakout that's why it's called opening range breakout so here's the first three minute bar next candle comes in and breaks the low so notice we break the low and it wasn't too aggressive it was um, just a little break but 
sometimes it takes a little bit of time for it to pick up. And then you can see in the next few candles, we started to crush right back down. Okay. So let me go ahead right here. And I'm going to go over to the live chat on the discord. And I'm just going to walk you through that just to show you that we do this in real time. Okay. So here we go. Three minutes ago. Who's ready? Our short swing trade is paying off well. So we also took a short swing trade. Let me just write that down before I forget to talk about it. I'm just going to put that here. Short swing trade strategy. I'm going to share that with you guys today. So just so I don't forget um, right here. So we went ahead back to where we were. So short at 933, right when that candle low breaks. And then we have target one, 369.37. And then secure three points, one contract, 150 points. Here we go. Boom, flush. Okay, so nice little short winner on the orb. And what I like to do is I usually come in with a good amount of size. And the first part of my trade will always be um, securing the bag. Okay, so I like to take profits using these Fibonacci extensions, all of these Fibonacci extensions on the way down. And then I like to leave runners on. All right. So the first place was an opening range breakout. Then right after that opening range breakout, guys, we had a Fibonacci, which was right here. So I'm going to have to go back. One second here. Yeah, I'm going to have to go back so I can show you the fib. So I'm just going to go right there. Okay. So right after that orb, we had a morning leg Fibonacci. So how do you draw the morning leg fib? Well, you have, you generally need at least two candles. Here's our third candle. And what we're doing here is we're looking for the pullback of the fib. So what we're doing here, and I'm just going to keep this very simple for you guys, is we're just looking to short in the golden zone, 50 to 786. So what's the point of this? The point of this is we don't want to chase puts down here because the premiums will be too expensive. We want to let the market come back to us where we can get in for a discount. So 50, 618, and 786, these are all percentage retracements. So 50% retracement, 61.8%, and 78.6%, this is basically getting a discount on the initial move down. So you can see we pop back in there right into the golden zone, guys. Little rejection here in between the 50 and the 618, and we rolled over. So... Those were the two trades that we took. Oops. We had the orb, which was really clean. And then we had the fib. And one thing to notice about this Fibonacci is we had a uh, confirmation candle. We had a outside bar. So outside bar is a very powerful trade, trading opportunity. And I'll show you that in the swing trades. But this is what we call, if I go to the book right here, this is what we call candlestick confirmation. So you also, you you see, you can physically see the rejection with the wick. And you also have a candlestick, like an inside bar or an outside bar to give you that extra confirmation. So for both of these plays, the orb went for about 60 points. The morning leg Fibonacci went for about 60 points as well because the entry was back near the orb. So in total, guys, 120 points. Each point on ES is worth $50. So that's $6,000 on just one contract. So what I would do is I'll take this and divide it by two and say $3,000 that's a fair starting point for any new trader. You're not going to get the whole move, but you can at least get half of it. I try to get 80% of the move. All right. And I just use Fibonacci extensions to help me with my targets. So for example, if we're going to take the Fibonacci from here to here, you can see this 100% is the complete measured move. So high to low, pull back to the 50. And then the hundred percent mark is pretty much lining up with where we bought, where we bottomed on the day. So I like to use those extensions as targets. All right, guys, so there we go, my friends. Um, that was the recap for Friday. Hit me with a seven if that made sense. All right, so very, very clean day. We had a combination trade. We had the orb into the morning leg fib. And once we have like two winners in a row, we don't want to go ahead and just over trade. When you have two winners in a row, it's likely that the third trade is going to be a loser based on probability. So I always like to just take a step back and just enjoy the profits and let the runners run. All right. So brother right here, Corey Lewis, man, I appreciate you so much, brother. Thank you for all of the support. Um, you've been supporting me from day one. So thank you for the $1.99, my friend. I appreciate that. Thank you. All right. So Friday, done. Okay. Now we'll go to Thursday. So again, we're going to go ahead and draw our previous day's low right here. Previous day's high is right there. And we're going to go ahead again, and I'm going to hit the replay. Okay. So... The important thing about Thursday, remember there was FOMC. This was the FOMC, okay? And um, you could see that there was a, a big bull trap in this FOMC, right? And this bull trap in the FOMC ended up the next two days causing us to just sell off for the next two days. So 
that's what happened on Thursday and that's what happened on Friday. You could clearly see here, we had this bullish price action. We made a new high ever so slightly, and then they ripped it back down. So those, it's important to understand that that was the picture for FOMC. So the first thing that we do, again, let the first three minute candle play out. So you can see that this candle opened below, right? It opened below the low. But what I liked about this candle here, and the reason I went for an opening range breakout was of this wick. Um, and what I really liked about this wick here, if I zoom in a little bit for you guys, is that this wick, you could, if you look closely, this is the previous day's low, right? So it should be right there. So we rejected the low. So that right there is a signal that there are some shorts on this candle. We could see there's a lot of pressure because at one point, the candle was all the way up here. But by the end of the three minute candle, we were all the way down here. So do you guys see that wick? Hit me with a five. Do you understand that concept of the wick? The wick is showing that at one point, the candle was here. So SPY was at 37765. But by the end of it, we were back down to basically 377, right? So right there, um, we, we basically see shorts. And I saw that right at the open. And because of that, I said, all right, I'm going to take the orb. And this, it's the same thing we did in the previous, uh, on Friday, we literally repeated the same thing. So here's the low right there. Once that low breaks, that's where I'm going to enter short. Next candle comes in, bam. So really, really clean, really, really clean orbs in the last two days. And then right after that, guys, we had another morning leg fib. And I'm going to show you this one. This one was really, really nice um, because this is, you can only see these, these hidden levels, guys, with the fib. So if I go ahead here and I draw it from the high to the low, right? So we came back into the golden zone again. And in this particular trade, we just shorted on the 618 only right there. And let's pause here for a second, okay? If you look at this chart right now, how many of you would be scared to short right there? Hit me with a one. Would you feel nervous to short right there? Or hit me with a two if no. My, uh, where do we see trade alerts? My trade alerts are posted right here in the Discord every morning I go live. Okay, so I'm, I'm about to show you what happened on Thursday and I'll show you step by step. Okay, tradingwars.com. All right, so right here, right, if you're looking at this chart with that size of candle, you're going to be nervous. Okay, hey, you know what? That's a big bullish candle. But the Fibonacci it is the hidden, it's the hidden support and resistance that you can't see from the chart. Um, so we came right into the 618, guys. Watch this. Bam, 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 bam. See that? So only, guys, with that, only here by using that Fibonacci can you say, hey, you know what? This 618 is where we're going to do reverse. So let me just fast forward that, right? So after that, we continue to sell off on the day. Just write that up for you. So the opening range breakout on this day went for about 30 points. The morning leg Fibonacci as well, another 30 points. So in total on one contract, 60 points times $50, 3,000, divide that by two for a new trader, 1,500 bucks, not bad. Okay, that's just on one contract. I know people that trade 30, 40, 50 contracts. I'm trying to work my way up there at some point, but I started off with a small account. So it's taken me a lot longer to build my capital compared to some of my friends that have millions of dollars already in the industry, right? Or some people use other people's money to trade, but I just, I, I like to just trade with my own capital. I don't want to put other people's capital at risk. So, you know, eventually you're hitting, let's say 10 contracts, right? That's 30 K 20 contracts, 60 K see what I'm saying. So it's very simple to scale up with futures because the liquidity is so great. So let me go ahead and just walk you through. So this was, um, let me just make sure I have the right date. So the 22nd, so you could see right here short at 935. So at 935 is when we entered the opening range breakout short target one hits, send the red stop loss at break even now target to smash excellent trade. Who's banking with me. So those two days were very, very clean. And I just want to go ahead to the Fibonacci room. I just want to show you that we draw these fibs in real time with everyone. So right here, guys, this was us drawing up the 618. You see the same candle right here that we were on. This is us drawing it up. 618 filled short. So we let everybody know when we're filled. We let everybody know when we're going into the trade. And you could see how everybody was hyped up because we crushed that trade. All right. So we draw the fibs every single day live. If you're struggling with drawing the fibs, just come check us out for a week or so, guys. Get the book, check us out, and you'll be able to draw them on your own. All right? So that is Thursday. Fibonacci is is based. There's there's a, there's a, I have a whole playlist on it. It's not that simple like yesterday's close or whatnot. It's the first leg of the day is the morning leg. The second leg of the day is the basically from 9.30 to about 1 o'clock. Um, so you have a morning leg and an afternoon leg right here. So right here, morning leg is basically the first... Uh, 
anywhere between the first 15 minutes to the first hour. This is anywhere up till one o'clock. And then the opposing leg is an advanced leg that um, is more for advanced traders. Okay. So there we have Thursday and Friday in the bag. Okay. Let's go ahead to the FOMC day on Wednesday. Just hit me with the six right now if you're good to go. Does that all make sense? You're following me so far. So the last, so Thursday and Friday, we basically did the same thing. We did an opening range breakout into a Fibonacci 618. We did the same thing on both days. And it's very important. Um, it's very, very important for you to use the setups that work. If the setup doesn't work one day, you have to make sure that you know, you trust the process and you trust the systems. You've done your back testing. You're okay with going through a losing streak because you know there's going to be better days. If, let's say on Monday, the opening range breakout doesn't work. And then by Thursday and Friday, I'm so mentally drained because I gave up on it. And then on Thursday and Friday, it hits big. That's me sabotaging myself. All right. Hit me with a nine if you've been in that situation. Because I think I've been there many times in my trading career when I first started because you, as a new trader, you don't know what's the right way to trade because everybody, everybody has the perfect solution for you. Right. And, um, first of all, no trading strategy is hundred percent win rate. That's for sure. And with a two to one risk reward, all you need is 34 out of hundred trades to make profit 34% win rate. So what you should really be focusing on is which strategies are going to give you, um, a good win rate and a good risk reward. But the win rate is not as important as the risk reward because if you're making ten dollars on your winners and losing a hundred dollars on your losers it doesn't matter how good your win rate is you're going to lose money okay so those are things you have to factor in that's why the back testing and that's why you know trading with a community that they've been doing the same thing for months and months and months we've been doing the same strategies from the beginning from since last year when we started the spy vip so that is going to help you and um whenever you second guess yourself go back to your data go back to your back testing that's why i have tens of thousands of hours of data because that's what helps guides my trades okay all right let's continue now so we're going into the fomc day which was the wednesday and um i'm just going to walk you through this so on the fomc day we do not for me i didn't actually take any trades during the fomc i just took trades in the opening and um before the fomc guys there's always good trading opportunities and for some reason i think in the community there's this thing where it's like, oh, well, we can't do anything until FOMC. And I'm going to show you guys that you can still make good money before because the volatility is still going to be there. Just stick to your setups. All right. So on the Wednesday, we had the trigger long and we had the 618 Fibonacci. So I'm going to go ahead here to the 21st of September. And I'm going to get our triggers. So our triggers, basically what the trigger is, is it's two lines, a long entry and a short entry. So um, so our long entry on this day was 385.63. So I'm going to go ahead and draw that for you. So these can be fully automated. I recommend for people that work full-time jobs that still want to be able to make some supplementary income. This is the way to do it. This is the way I've done a lot of my trading over the years as well, especially when I was extremely busy in life, um, automated trading. So 385.63, that's our long line. I'm going to make this green. So if we touch this line, we're going to enter the trade only if we touch it. If it opens above and it doesn't touch it, we're not going to enter only if it touches it. Okay. So first candle comes in right here. Boom. So you could see at the open, we opened on the previous day's high. We used that as rejection. We came into the green line. So we got filled long within the first five minutes right here. And then after that, guys, we popped right back up into a new high of the day. So this one, we took a little bit of heat, you can see, and it was a little bit painful sitting through this because it took 15 minutes for us to really get going here. And then right after that, guys, we had another combination trade. If I take the Fibonacci from the low to the high, like so, you could see right here, guys, we filled the 618 to the penny. This was a, this was a beautiful trade. We filled the 618 to the penny right there, guys, and then we pop right back up into a new high. And right on that new high is where we exit our position, um, or at least the majority of your position, you get the rest of break even. So the trigger long went for 15 points, and then the 618 Fibonacci went for 10 points. So 25 points, guys, not bad at all. And then after that, we chopped around for a while until we had the FOMC, uh, which we, I didn't take part in. I know some people did. Um, and for those who took part in it, most of the traders used the indicator. So let me just go ahead and link the free indicator in the chat. Right there. Um, so this right here, guys, is the Nirvana pattern. This is the blue. This is when Poseidon opens the gates. 
inside, outside, we had a short signal right at 155, right before FOMC, right when 386.44 broke right there. Boom, that's your short, um, your stop is high of day. So for the FOMC, I recommend focusing on the advanced patterns in the actual indicator. Okay, so that was Wednesday. All right, are we good? Are we good with Wednesday? And guys, hopefully you stay till the end because we're going to be doing some giveaways, all right? So I'm going to try to pick it up. I know it's been 20 minutes already, so I'll try to pick it up here. So hit me with uh, two. Are we good to go with the FOMC day? Are we ready to go? And I'm going to go ahead and draw off our chart again. Here it was our low, and here it was our high right there. And we're going we're gonna to look at Tuesday now, and I'm going to go ahead and hit the replay right here. Boom. Okay. All right. So the 20th, we had our short trigger was 382.82. So let me go ahead and draw that line for you. Right there. All right. So Tuesday was the only day which was pretty, it wasn't difficult, but it was a little bit choppy. And we kind of did expect that. The first five minute candle, you can see it was contained. Notice how we're inside of the 19th range, which was Monday. So we're inside of that range. So with when since we're inside, guys, I'm expecting there to be chop. So we waited here to short at the edge when we hit that short trigger. And um, unfortunately, the first time we hit the short trigger, we, we had a loser. So we took a loser right on the first one. It did not break down. It instead just popped right back up. But then later on in the afternoon, we came down to retest that level. That's called the V trigger. And this time when we hit it, we flushed straight through. So overall on the on Tuesday, it was pretty much a scrap day, like a wash day. Uh, loser right off the bat, but the trigger came back in clutch later on in the day. And whenever we have inside days like this where we open inside of the range, I try to just stay Oh, I try to stay neutral. I try to not to take too many trades. And the reason is because a lot of the times you can get choppy price action. Okay. All right. So not too much to talk about Tuesday. Let's go ahead to Monday now and we will discuss Monday. All right. So I'm going to go ahead here. Boom. Hit the replay. All the way back here. Boom. We'll get into it. So notice Friday. Friday, this was last Friday's price action was extremely tight, very, very tight. So I was expecting on the Monday for us to actually do something significant. Um, anytime you see a very tight trading range, generally the next day, it's going to break out of that range. Okay. So the first candle comes in, uh, we tried to short near the short trigger down here and we got stopped out. That was minus 10 points. Um, so it was a really tough way to start Monday morning. I will say that, but right after that, guys. Um, let me actually, let me go ahead and get the triggers for us. So right here. So the short was 382.54 and the long was 385.84. Okay. So go ahead and draw that. 382.54. And then the long was 385.84. Okay. 385.84. Eighty-four. All right, so we have the chart marked up and ready to go. Put that in green. Okay, here we go. Let's zoom in so we can see this. Let's bring our tracker down here. Okay. All right, so like I said, the first short uh, was a loser. Um, but then right after that, we came all the way back up to the long trigger right here. It took a little bit of time to get going, but we eventually squeezed right through. That's what we were looking for. But the biggest play on the day was the Fibonacci 618, which went for 40 points. If I take the Fibonacci right here from low to high, uh, again, on this trade, we were just waiting for the 618. So you, the only thing you need to keep your eyes on is the 618. So we came all the way back down here, guys. We tagged the 618 right there. And you can see, if you look closely in here, you can see that big algo wick. You see how big it is? There was that wick right there. That's not a normal wick right? You could see the wick is almost bigger than the candle. And that right there is a sign that there is an, there could be an algorithm in that buy order. All right. Hit me with a four. Does that make sense? Trigger. My triggers are, it's a formula that I use. It's based on the average true range plus the uh, Fibonacci's of the previous day. I basically plug in, um, I just plug it in and it gives me every single day. It tells me the triggers. It's a formula that I, I worked on for many years, actually. Um, and 
It's a, it's a simple way to trade. So there's that big algo buy right there, guys. And then, bam, squeeze, 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 squeeze into the end of the day. So we chopped around for a little bit there. And then into the end of the day, guys, we just went crazy. And what I want to show you and what's very important is, so that was about 45 points times 50, $2,250 on one contract, not bad. But what I really want to show you here is the power of a day trader. So if you, if you notice, guys, on Monday, we were trading bullish setups long triggers 618 long okay in the um in the fomc we were trading long so let me just give you guys a quick rundown right so we were going long on monday um over here we tried short then wednesday we went long twice then thursday and friday straight shorts and that's what i really want to show you guys as a day trader you can be long and short within five minutes you can switch when you're in the market, like long-term investing or you're swing trading, sometimes you get trapped. And uh, it was really, really powerful, guys, extremely powerful to, as a day trader, and I want to share that with you, is to be able to pivot your bias. At the beginning of the week, we're looking long, we're trading long. At the end of the week, we're all shorts. Once that FOMC came in and it just ripped lower, we knew, okay, we have to be looking towards the downside now. And that is why day trading is superior in volatile markets, because you don't need to put yourself in a position where you can blow up your account. You can come in with cash, you can day trade and leave with cash. But if you put something in the market and you have to hold through uncertainty and on news and things like that, it can really destroy you unless you plan on holding these things for a very, very long term. All right, guys. So there we, there we go, guys. That was the recap for the week. Um, Overall, over 100 points easily, maybe 150 points in gains. Um, can't really ask for more than that. That was an exceptional week. So hit me with a seven if that all made sense. Is that all good to go? You guys good to go with that? And while we're here, I'm going to do a few announcements. So next week is the one-year anniversary of the SPY VIP. So we started trading SPY for a living one year ago. And... Um, I just can't believe one year has, has gone in so quickly. I'm going to be showing you some highlights next week of our biggest winners and um, just different plays. It's going to be a fun time. I'm going to be doing some giveaways uh, more than usual. And I'm also going to be do, doing some giveaways to the people that were in the VIP with me from the beginning to show some support in the Discord as well. All right. So uh, thank you, guys. I really want to thank you for being here with me for a year and giving me the support. And I hope that I've been able to add value to you. I hope that I've been able to help you. Even if you don't trade Fibonacci, if you don't trade the setups, if I were to, if I was able to help you with risk management, if I was to, able to help you with trading psychology or just being, you know, someone you can you look forward to having a video every day. Uh, I'm very grateful for that. So thank you for giving me your time. I really appreciate it. So thank you very much, guys. Okay, so next week's going to be the celebration. All right. So what I want to talk about now is a little bit about swing trading. Because uh, we did take a short swing trade on SPY this week. And I just want to share with you guys the strategy. All right. So if we go here to the swing trade channel, the last swing trade we had was a short on September 22nd. Okay. So let me just show you the basic strategy that I like to use. So I like using outside bars or inside bars on the daily chart of SPY or ES like this to use as entries. So on the 21st, we closed with a outside bar. So all we did right here, guys, is we entered once the outside bar was broken. And within two days, we got over 100% on puts. Very simple. I like outside bars. You can go and just do your own due diligence and look at all the outside bars on the chart and do some back testing and you'll see the win rate is really good. So the reason I also wanted to trade the, that outside bar short was if we look at where the stock market all time high was at the beginning of the year, we had a double outside on the monthly. If we go down to the weekly, we had a double outside on the weekly and then we had an outside on the daily. So what I just showed you right there, guys, is something I call fractal trading where all the time frames are basically showing a fractal of itself. We have outside bars on the highest time frames to the lowest time frames. And I love that trading. I love that because I feel like it stacks my odds. I feel like it gives me more per higher return, higher win rate. So we basically we did a top down analysis. We entered on that outside bar and the puts within two days, guys, went for 100%. All right. 
So does that make sense? That's just a high level on the swing trade strategy. Hit me with a five if that makes sense. All right. And I uh, just want to show you guys. So I'm going to go over here. So last week, I also shared that swing trade, that short. I shared that with the Trading Wars Army. This was last Sunday, eight days ago. So you can go ahead right here, guys. If you want, you can click this join button right here. And uh, you can join the Trading Wars Army, okay, if you're interested. Uh, let me just link that right here for you guys. Oops. I'm showing you guys too many things right now. You guys just got a... Uh, you just guys, you guys just got into the um, the backstage pass access. So I'm gonna go ahead right here. I'm gonna link this. Okay, so what I do with the Trading Wars Army is every week I give a swing trade, as well as every month I do the newsletter. You can join right here, three ninety nine on your first month, four ninety nine thereafter. And uh, next week we're looking at Apple, and I just wanted to talk to you guys about Apple. So if we look at the broader market, if we look at Spy for example. You could see that SPY had a, a pretty big sell-off, right? We can go to the queues, and we can also see that there was a sell-off. However, when I scanned the stock market this week, I found that Apple had actually put in an inside bar. And that was very key for me because Apple did not break its low. There was a few other, like Twitter, that did not break its low either. And um, that's divergence. And I love trading opportunities with divergence because they tend to be more explosive. So Apple right here showing relative strength did not break last week's low, unlike the other rest of the indices. And I have a swing trade plan set up in the in the YouTube army as well as in the Discord. So consider joining that guys if you want to be a part of that. But we're going to be looking to play Apple next week. All right. So hit me with a one. Did you get that? Did you get the trade um, swing idea? If you're in the trading wars army, did it come through? I seen that eight people commented, 13 people liked. So did you guys, did you guys, uh, were you guys able to get that? How to join the army? All you gotta do is click on the link I just sent and then click join right here. And uh, I just wanna do a shout out to the Trading Wars army. I actually got within the last week or so, like 30 new army members. So thank you. I'm just gonna be doing a lot more swing trades for you guys. I'm just gonna, I'm trying to pick the best though. I don't wanna give you guys stuff that I don't think is is optimal like last week we had the spy and then this week we had apple i think they're great opportunities all right so i see a lot of you guys got it all right okay all right so what's next right here guys what i want to do now is i want to go ahead and just talk about microsoft a little bit and i want to what else i want to do the giveaways okay so microsoft and giveaways okay so one of the stocks that I have been invested in for a long time um, is Microsoft. And I want to get your interest here. I want to see if you guys are interested, but I'm planning to lay out something I call a pyramid, pyramid long-term investment strategy on Microsoft. So how many of you guys in here, hit me with a one, how many of you guys in here are long-term traders like you buy and hold hit me with a one if that's the case hit me with a two if no and that's fine because i don't really talk about long-term plays too much but um microsoft for me is just one of those stocks that i have to be in long term i just believe in the company i just like their products and i want to get in for the long run and when i say long run i'm talking about at least five years in my view All right and so what I'm going to, so what I'm going to do is in the discord here on, under the swing trade channel, I'm going to share my Microsoft plan, but I want to give you guys an idea. So essentially this was the COVID low right over here. This was the COVID low right back here in the 2nd of March. And we had this big rally. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use the same way we day trade. I'm going to be using this golden zone right here to buy long-term shares. So I already started to buy some last week when we hit the 50, I started to buy some already, but I'll be looking to add more and more and more into this golden zone. And, um, and just, that's what we call it. That's how we call it the pyramid. So the lower we go, the more I'm willing to add for the long run. Okay. All right. Hit me with a 10, if that makes sense. So that's the one stock that I'm willing to buy and hold and sit through Microsoft. So I just wanted to share with you, share with you guys. That's, that's my game plan. 
All right. Good stuff. Good stuff. Okay. So let's go ahead here. And um, I talked about everything. Let's do some giveaways right after I just go through the website. So as always, guys, I see a lot of people asking. Tradingwars.com is where I'm at. You can join the room right here on the Spy VIP. Or you can sign up for any one of my three books. So everything I talked about in the Fibonacci is in the Golden Partnership, which is Fibonacci and Automated Options Trading. Um, so you can go ahead here. If you grab the book, you get one month for free. So 30 days live trading with us. Grab any one of my three books. Come trade with us live tomorrow. You'll get the indicators for life always. Um, 69 pages, 50 charts. And you can also look into the SPY book if you want to learn a little bit more about SPY. I have a whole section on futures contracts for those that are interested very detailed charts as well. So you can sign up there or sign up on the main page. All right. So let's go ahead and do some giveaways right now. We'll, we're going to do two giveaways. We're going to do one for the Trading Wars Army exclusive. And then we're going to do uh, one giveaway for someone in the chat who has commented on a video. So I'm going to go right here. So this last video I did was on Friday. And we went, we called, I called out live a winner on AMD. It went for 85% on calls somewhere, somewhere right around here. Yeah. So right around here. So I, I showed you guys in real time how I use the 50% extension to buy the dip on calls. So if you haven't checked this video out, when you get a chance, please check it out. But for now, I'm going to pick a giveaway winner from this video. So I'm going to give you guys a few minutes, go ahead and just leave a comment on here and, um, I will pick a winner from here. Okay. So go ahead and leave a comment on that video and then we will go from there. There were, there was a, a scammer on this video with some WhatsApp number. Um, so be aware. There's a lot of scammers out there. The only place you guys can find me is at tradingwars.com. All right. So go ahead leave a comment on there. And in the meantime, I'm going to go to the army and I'm going to pick a winner from the army. Okay. All right. All right, so I'm going to pick a winner on the army. One second. All right, so from the Trading Wars army, we have Kanti Getty. How am I going to share this? One second, guys. That's what I'm going to do right here. This brother right here, Kanti Getty. Kanti Gaddy, you are the winner of the giveaway. It uh, looks like you're very into sports, my friend. So Kanti Gaddy, you are the winner for the Trading Wars Army members giveaways. I'll hook you up with a book and one month for free in the room. All right. So Kanti, congratulations, brother. All right. All right. And now let's go to the video. Where's the video? Right here. Let's see how many comments we have. All right. What's going on? We have... 48 comments. So we're going to do a random number generator right here. 1, 2, 48, 3, 2, 1, boom, number 43. All right. So that's somebody who recently commented. So we're going to go all the way to the bottom. So 48, 47, 46, 45, 44, 43. Jeff C. Jeff C. You are the winner, Mr. Jeff C. Jeff C. I'm guessing you're in this chat right now, right, Jeff? Hit us with a hit us with a one if you're here, Jeff. Let's put you on the screen. Thanks for the support. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Appreciate you, Jeff. Let's pop up Jeff on the screen if he's here. All right, so we're waiting for Jeff. But yeah, there we go, guys. There we go, Jeff C. Right here, Jeff C. All right, brother. Thank you. Just um, DM me on Twitter or email rich at tradingwars.com, and I will take care of you, brother. I'll get you your book and your one month for free. And uh, thank you, thank you, guys. And don't forget, next week is the big one-year celebration stream. I'm going to be doing a lot of giveaways, so I really hope to see you then. It's going to be a fun time. Maybe I'll pull out some wine and take a few drinks because we worked really, really hard this year. Uh, we worked really, really hard, guys. I worked on my birthday. I worked on all holidays. I didn't. I, I did not. I really did not take any days off this year, and uh, it's because it's a, it's important to me to be here for my my people that support me. I I can't take a day off, but and so it's been it's been hard work, but next Sunday, let's celebrate. All right. Thank you so much, guys. Appreciate you. Tradingwars.com. And I'll leave a comment, guys, for the giveaway next Sunday. Take care.